Hello, happy St. Patrick's Day. Today is Thursday, March 17th. Did Harry get Samantha banned from Twitter? Before we get into that, <coughs> excuse me. The Express says Sussex Squad blasted for venting murderous fury over enemy number one, Prince William. Meghan and Harry's fans have come under fire, Vin and murderous fury about Prince William. And these were remarks that he had made while on an engagement the other day, which were totally false. They took his words and they twisted it and tried to make it into uh, something that um, would be said out of racism. Joe Evan, the host of Palace Confidential, said that he came under um, quite some epic trolling on social media last week by Sussex fans who have said they were trying to find any reason to be angry with the prince. Miss Elvin describes the Sussex squad as the internet cheerleaders for Harry and Meghan who have signed an almost godlike status to the California-based royals. Well, this is just in my own opinion, but I think we've seen enough tweets from the Sussex squad where they're asking about their paycheck or it was behind and they were getting disgruntled. So it would seem to me, based on that, that they are paid either, if not directly by Harry and Meghan, maybe through Sunshine Sacks. The royal expert said the fans won't tolerate the faintest hint of criticism about either Meghan or Harry. Well, we know this. And they, they won't even accept good news about the other royals. In a Mel on Sunday article, she wrote, The Sussex squad likes to indulge in a sport I call offense fracking. The deep, deep mining for something, anything to jump on and be angry about. Now, I was doing, this isn't the video I was going to do a couple days ago. I'm still going back and trying to find my research that I accidentally deleted, but I'm going to be talking a little bit more about this. So, the royal family, such a shame Prince Harry raises eyebrows with the latest move. We've talked about what he did for the Invictus game, but I know that it's got to be such a huge embarrassment to his family to see this man stand in front of him. And I want to thank a few viewers who in the comments pointed out the fact, and I didn't catch this, that while he was doing that little um, orange outfit number, that these are veterans that are actually wheelchair-bound and um, so they're not able to walk and stand up and, and do the things uh, such as Harry was doing here. So I find that as a mother with a, a child with disabilities to be very upsetting and uh, to make it even worse. It's like Harry's not thinking about other people whatsoever. No empathy. So then here was another one and found this on, I think it was... Um, I guess it was Twitter from an account broken, so give them credit. Express, Meghan and Harry fans attack royal chef during daring to say Duchess would have to pay. This was just over um, a, one of the ex-royal chefs, uh, chefs getting backlash because um, he said, no, he wouldn't roll out the red carpet for the Duchess of Sussex. So now they all go and attack him. This is just another example of what we're saying. It doesn't matter that what we're saying is the truth, but if you say anything negative about Harry and Meghan, these people that are in this squad will go in and viciously attack you and say the most vile things and uh, try to report you and get all of your social media accounts taken down. We'll talk more about that in a moment. Oh, let's see, what's this? Oh, this was something that came up a while back from uh, Adam Hahn. And I don't know if it's real or not, but I'm going to discuss it. At Meghan Markle at Suits USA. Meg, please uh, put don't put too much details in about Suits. I'm not watching. But by the way, can you please come to Yacht Week? Megan, any chance you'd be free in the market looking uh, for you to join my friends as I boat for Yacht Week? Yep, don't know. It might be all made up, but it's out on the public domain, so it's fair use, fair dealings. But one fan, Wayne Loydler, managed to screenshot an old tweet of Megan before she was uh, swanning around uh, with Kate Middleton. And it said, by Meghan Markle's Twitter account, Dublin, you are beyond, beyond lovely, having the best day and excited for a night at Dicey's Garden and Crystal uh, Nightclub. XOXO. And then Wayne says, she may have shut down all of her social media sites, but let's not forget, Meghan Markle said Dublin was beyond lovely on her visit. 
So she was a real big party girl, but of course she had to clean all that up. Looks like that, um, well, it said soon to be, because this is an old article, Royal has come a long way from downing shots in Crystal. A, clearly Harry's future wife, or his current wife, is suited for the notorious uh, party prince. So, boy, they cleaned up her image all across social media. They wanted her to come across as this young, naive, uh, sweet Diana that um, was just a great humanitarian and had no... Um, skeletons in a closet, right? Well, let's go on. Uh, hello uh, reports that Rebel Wilson pokes fun at Prince Harry and Meghan's Oprah interview. And the, she hosted the Baptist, which William and Kate didn't go to. They had the uh, Commonwealth service the following day and a lot of other things going on. But Baptist host Rebel Wilson had a host of jokes up her sleeve during the award ceremony on Sunday night. And one famous couple who she couldn't resist poking fun at was uh, Fr Prince Harry and Meghan. And it says, uh, then she quipped from drama to fantasy. But I'm going to let you watch a quick video of it. British film. Let's go back. I'm sorry. Our next package is for outstanding British film. From horror to horror to fantasy, Harry and Meghan's interview with Oprah had it all. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, that's not nominated in this category, but some incredible films are. From drama to horror to fantasy. That's about the way it is, isn't it, folks? So I wanted to tell you again, uh, this isn't the end, but I just want to stick this in. Happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone. We all celebrate it. A little quick history tip. St. Patrick's Day is celebrated annually on March 17th, the anniversary of the death in the 5th century of St. Patrick's uh, Day of 2022 will take place on Thursday, March 17th, which it always does. The Irish have observed this day as a religious holiday for over 1,000 years. On St. Patrick's Day, which falls during our Christian season of Lent, Irish families and many others would traditionally attend church in the morning and celebrate in the afternoon. Lenten prohibitions uh, against the consumption of meat were waived on this day and people would dance, drink, and feast on the traditional meal of Irish bacon and cabbage. Or maybe you like corned beef and cabbage, which is what we had today. I'm not Irish, but many of my friends are, and I love the Irish people. All right. And um, so, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. And let's, uh, I didn't include the um, disclaimer in the beginning, but there's the copyright. And you will always find that in my description as well as uh, the other places on social media where I can be found. Now, let me get back up to the story. I apologize. I was all over the place getting information. So, now, Prince Harry asked Twitter boss to suspend Samantha Markle's account, question mark. So this was a question. He's not saying that they did. This is by Geo News. The Twitter account of Meghan Markle's half-sister, Samantha Markle, has been suspended for violating um, microblogging sites policies, according to reports. Samantha had been using her Twitter account to criticize Meghan Markle for years. The ban came days after the parental half-sister of the Duchess of Sussex said she is suing Meghan over her interview with American TV legend, Oprah Winfrey last year. And let's not forget uh, the authors of Fun and Freedom. Royal friends and pro-monarchy journalists are criticizing Twitter's decision to ban Samantha. Commenting on the reports, Daily Mail journalist Richard Eden wrote, has Prince Harry begun emailing at Twitter boss Jack Dorsey again? Remember, he said in previous times that, you know, he emailed him directly to predict things that were going to be going on, like the Jan January 6th um, riot in, in uh, Washington, D.C. Well, where does Harry get all of this information from? He must be just so important. Meghan Markle and Harry's relations with the royal family deteriorated after the couple sat for the interview. Meghan Markle's sister's Twitter account, was banned after she tried to evade a previous ban. I won't go into all this. So it's just, uh, this is from the guy at Daily Mail, Ronnie Reyes. And he seems to be um, 
not, uh, let's just say not in Samantha's favor. But he just uh, goes on to say um, it was suspended on Monday for allegedly trying to circumvent a previous ban the uh, social media platform issued back in 2019. Samantha Markle, 57, Megan's half-sister, had her second Twitter account at the Markle Sammy ban from the platform three years after her first account at Sammy Markle was suspended. So, isn't it odd, the timing of all of this, just as it is out in the uh, the public domain that Megan is being sued by her half-sister, Samantha. That's right, Megan wasn't an only child. Then, with Harry's connections to Jack Dorsey, who has stepped down from CEO position, but, and also at the Aspen Institute, trying to monitor what we say and our freedom of speech, because he thinks it's bonkers. Although Twitter has set, has not said why the first account was taken down, it issued a statement saying that the second account was suspended due to a ban evasion, with the decision coming days after the BuzzFeed article reported that the account had been repeatedly used to harass Megan and question the validity of her two pregnancies. Well, we all know who is behind these things, um, who is making sure that people can't speak out, especially the people closest to Megan, because they're going to reveal their truth. And Megan, we have a right to know their truth, right? So it just says, Samantha's lawyers, uh, Douglas Kell, denied the allegations and claimed that the Twitter account was hacked and that the tweets published by BuzzFeed were photoshopped. Whether or not they were, I have no way of knowing. But uh, this just shows the account was suspended, and we all know that there's a couple of other people who try to go in and uh, banned certain people off Twitter, get them removed, and we know some of our uh, favorite um, YouTubers have had this happen to them, Yankee and Murky. So, screenshots from the now-deleted tweets show the account making unfounded claims. Well, might be unfounded in your um, mind, Mr. Reyes, but it's her truth. Let her speak it. Nobody stopped uh, Megan from speaking her truth on the Oprah Winfrey show, and I won't go into all of this, but um, it just talked about... Um, the tweets claim Megan wore a fake pregnancy costume, that she suffered a miscarriage, um, that the two children are actually dolls and not even Harry's children, and that the Duchess may have been involved with Jeffrey Epstein and Harvey Weinstein. There's no evidence of any of this claims. Representatives for the Duke and Duchess did not immediately respond to DailyMail.com's request for comment. Did you expect them to respond? Of course they're not, because... They don't want to have any ties to her account being suspended, whether they're involved or not. They just want to sit back and keep quiet. Oh, we have nothing to say. So these were just some of the tweets that were on her previous account. You can screenshot them and read them if you want. I think other people have kind of went through this, so I'm going to be skipping over some of this. Uh, an explosive court document, Samantha claimed the Duchess of Sussex launched a premeditated campaign to destroy her and her father's reputation. And uh, you, these are going on to say all the charges that are in there, talking about how she wanted to destroy her family, make them look bad, and that the details that came out in the court case with the ANL Mail on Sunday, where she had uh, Jason Knopf send up an email and meet with the authors Omid Scobie and Carolyn Duran and give them the information and background and history on her family, which is false best to our knowledge. So I'm just kind of um, uh, summarizing all of this for you. And then she goes back to claim that um, it caused substantial and irreparable prejudice, injury, and harm to her reputation, which I do believe it did. So again, I'm going to skip through some of this because this just goes over what's in the court case and, um, and points out all of the things that uh, Samantha is saying is not true. So I'm just sliding through them so you can take a picture if you uh, if you wish to. So, do you think Harry uh, did get Samantha banned from Twitter? What are your thoughts on this? Uh, don't you find it a little bit suspicious that she's immediately taken down right after it comes out about her lawsuit with Megan? I'm dying to hear your comments. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Uh, give, us, give me a, um, a subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. And be sure and hit the notification bell. 
uh, to all, and that way you won't miss out on any of my content. I'll be back with you all very soon, and I'll get those other videos out. Sorry, it's just been a hectic week, but I hope everybody is doing well, and um, we'll talk to you soon.